In my recent video on hacking the TOC feature to produce a table of points and authorities, I apparently skipped one scenario, how to deal with citations within footnotes. So I worked with a reader who pointed out that omission, and here's the workaround we came up with. Hi, I'm Deborah Savage with Legal Office Guru, your resource for using Microsoft Office in a legal practice context. One reader who tried out my TOC hack for producing a table of points and authorities noted that if she attempted to mark a citation within a footnote, the mark entry command wasn't available. Neither the Alt Shift O shortcut key nor the mark entry command button I showed you how to add to the ribbon were available. Fortunately, there is a way to mark a citation within a footnote with a TC code. You just have to be a little creative. One of the scenarios that I did not account for in my recent video on how to insert a table of points and authorities was cases marked in footnotes. As you can see here, I'm perfectly capable of marking this particular case either using the Alt-Shift-O shortcut key or the mark TOC entry command that I've put up here on the ribbon. However, once I go down into a footnote, you notice that this has gone gray. And if I try to use Alt Shift O, nothing happens. So here's the workaround that I came up with in response to a reader who pointed this out. Number one, I'm going to select the text of this citation and then use Control C to copy it. Then I'm going to go back up to the footnote, the footnote number itself, and actually mark the footnote number so that this particular citation will show up on the page where it actually is cited. I have to paste that into the entry field because obviously what I've selected isn't the actual entry. And I can make the adjustment to the pin site here. and then put that at whatever level it needs to go into. It's probably going to be level one. And then once I hit mark, then you notice that that particular citation is now, we now have a TC code essentially for that particular citation on the page on which it appears in a footnote. And so this is page Let's see, 11, go back up to my TOC, and I'm going to refresh this, and I should see now Gupta actually showing up here. Now one thing it did not do, I notice here, is italicize it. So let me go back down to page 11 and make sure that I go into this case. I did not catch that as I was marking it and italicize it. And then once I go back to my TOC, right click and update field and update the entire table and this time it's now marked correctly. So that is sort of the workaround for this particular method for putting in a table of points and authorities. If you have a citation within a footnote, go ahead and copy the text out of the copy the text of the citation out of the footnote and then use the footnote number itself as the thing that you mark within the text. So, what do you think? If you've tried inserting a table of points and authorities this way, 
Have you run into any other problems with this technique? Let me know in the comments below. And if you'd like a copy of the sample document I've just demonstrated, head on over to my blog at the link in the description and scroll down to the bottom of the post or click the link in the upper right hand corner of the screen. This has been Deborah Savater with Legal Office Guru. Thanks for watching.